Titan is this moon that orbits Saturn, and it's small enough such that the force due to gravity is pretty minimal, like you wouldn't weigh very much at all. And then it has an extremely dense atmosphere. So the way I had always heard it is that you would weigh so little and the density of the atmosphere would cause such a large buoyancy force that you could then just strap on wings and literally be able to fly. Let's do those calculations real quick. Let's confirm that. First of all, let's find out what your what the force due to gravity would be on Titan. What the how much you would weigh on Titan. So, what's the force due to gravity? On Earth, exactly. What's the equation for the force due to gravity? Oh, it's not going to be nine. Mass times that acceleration. Yes. Yeah. So the force due to gravity is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So on Titan, the force due to gravity or your weight would be mass of an average person. Me, for example, I weigh about 75 kilograms. We need this to be in kilograms. So 75. And then the acceleration due to gravity on Titan is 1.34 meters per second. Yeah, meters per second squared, I think. So as compared to 9.8 meters per, square, per second squared on Earth, that is very small, right? Yes. So what is the force of gravity? What is your weight? So what is my, how much would I weigh on Titan? What was it? 100.5 meters, thank you. So, what would that be in pounds? Because that's what you guys are familiar with, right? It would be about 22 pounds. On Titan, that would only weigh 22 pounds. And there would be a buoyancy force lifting me up a little bit too, right? Let's find out what that buoyancy force is. What equation do we need to use? This is the density of the material that you're displacing. So in this case, it's not water. You need to know what the density of the atmosphere is, right? So we're using that. We've got force of buoyancy is equal to volume times the acceleration due to gravity times the density of the atmosphere. So in this case, my volume is roughly 70 liters, 0 0.07 cubic meters. Acceleration due to gravity on Titan is 1.34 meters per second squared. And then the density of the atmosphere on Titan, 4.9 kilograms per meter cubed. What is the buoyancy force? Four six newtons. Half a newton. As compared to, I weigh a hundred and a half newtons. So, what I had always heard is actually wrong. Like, I was flabbergasted when I did these calculations this weekend, and I found out that the buoyancy force has almost no effect whatsoever. I had always heard that you could fly on Titan, one, because you weigh a lot less because there's less gravity, and two, because there's a big buoyancy force, because the atmosphere is so dense. But it turns out the reason the atmosphere is so dense, like, contributes to being able to fly is because then when you push against it, it's like pushing through something closer, a little bit closer to water than air. And you could fly. So you could fly on Titan, which is why, do you guys remember from the Wanderers video? Oh, they're flying. So I saw this clip. I saw people flying with wings on and it was like, I know they're on Titan. Because this is the only place in the solar system where humans could fly.